All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have been doing a lot of tackle organization, but I have a pretty cool video that I wanted to drop on the channel today. It's me and my uncle. My uncle, sort of backstory real quick, he uh, he really started me fishing with my dad and I fished with him for a long time. Uh, several birthdays, he would always take me fishing way back when I was like five, six, seven years old. So a lot of my favorite memories uh, started with my uncle Maury. So it's cool to be able to have an opportunity to take him out in the boat. So this video right here is, uh, Hey, you get to this personal best spotted bass and a couple other things happen. Check the video out right now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a little bit of a special treat for you. I guess a little bit of a treat. A little bit different place. The water you can tell is up. This is a new fishery that I don't really get the chance to fish very often. So, wanted to check it out. Um, you could tell that it has been raining quite a bit. You know, you got a lot of debris in the water. The water's still fairly clean. Um, definitely fairly clean, but you can tell there's like mud mixing. I would assume things are probably going to be more of like a, I don't know, a spinner rate bite, maybe even some flooded bushes, so you might be able to catch them flipping. I don't know. We're going to find out. There are some spotted bass in this lake, largemouth bull. So we're going to find out. I have my uncle in town. Uncle came down to fish. Um, had this short trip planned for a little while. Um, and fishing has been okay on Chickamauga, but uh, not easy by any means. You don't, you know, a lot of times eight to ten bites. So we figured we switch it up today have about four hours to mess with. So uh, let's see if we can't figure this thing out. A white spinner bait or anything, you think? Probably like a little trailer. Probably, so we got all that tackle sort of put up a little bit. Just gotta rig up a couple things. I think like a little small swim bait trailer might be good. Yeah, it just gives you a little more casting ability because, so that's good there. Spinner bait check. Yes, yeah, they're on the wall. They gotta be on the things good. Gosh, they gotta be on those good. So he's already got a bite. I gotta get his jig, jigs out. What do you got tied on? So, you got a shaky head, chowder bait. You want a chowder bait color change? What color you want? Yeah, it's perfect right there. All right, we'll, 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 we'll sort of roll with this and sort of see what we get, see what we get from there. Oh, did he? Thank you. Bradley. What the heck, bro? Okay, first cast. Maury said he already had a bite. That should be a freaking bite. Cool. I would assume it'd be fire. Let me go. I'll hop a jig on some of this stuff for a second. Bradley, relax. Calm down. Already got him one already. Spot. I think. No, large mouth, isn't it? Bradley, chill. Large mouth. Large mouth. Good job, Uncle Mo. He told me he wanted to throw that three blade on there. Well, three eighths ounce accent spinner bait. First fish of the day. Bradley's over here just chilling. Yeah, he he definitely wanted it. Yeah. Yeah, first one of the day. What's up? Breaking. Oh, golly. Talk about a backlash. I just, I got excited. And then what happens? Backlash. Water's still not too bad for even chowder, but even this, you know? Like I would assume like these little pockets like this that were coming up on them, little small ones are gonna be where it's at. Hey Bradley, how are you this morning? Uncle Mo caught you a bass. Can you say thank you? A little bit, yeah. What about it, buddy? Uh. Look at that water coming out of there. That's pretty crazy. Oh, I was hoping to see some like out here in the middle. You think they'd be like, so you would think that, that that current coming out of here, they should be out just in the middle of this drain, biting bait. How in the world is there not some right there? They should be ashamed of themselves. Bradley, stop. Uh, 
that you were throwing that rig? You just pop it. It's real simple. You just throw it out there. That's a, a rattling Ned. Pop, pop. Like maybe even cast it over like in there. Pretty good one. Golly. I got him. Come here. Oh, we <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, that's a nice big one. He's open. Golly. <laughs> Literally right there in that runoff, right there. One ounce spinner bait. It's an accent spinner bait. Gosh, I didn't even know there was that big a fish in here. That's unbelievable. That's a probably a seven something. Look at he's got something in his mouth too. Look at that. Oh. That's a big one. All right, let me see what this one weighs. Whew. Bradley's excited. That's for sure. Golly. Six and three quarter. Wow. That's still nice. That's it. Some water in this. Put it in there for a second. See if we can catch another big one. Cool. He was in no water. I seen him swirl at it and I'm like, huh. I seen him boil towards it. I'm like, calm down, bro. Gosh, there's one. Bradley, chill. Gosh, dang. Wrecking that spinner right now. Large mouth. See you later, buddy. Catch him all the way in the back of there. So what this spinnerbait right here is actually it's like a actually a special one I had made. This is a, a one ounce, but I have them in like half, I think, in three quarter. This is the triple shaddy accent spinnerbait. I have a little three inch storm largo shad on there. That bait really does hold up for a swim bait trailer and for a little swim bait. You guys have seen me throwing that on a single jig head last year in Table Rock. If you watch that video, um, I was catching a lot of those fish on that swim bait right there. But I think that the big key is, is just having something that has multiple blades. These fish are probably pulling the back in the backs of these places, uh, looking for, for bait that's pulled up into these areas. And three blade spinner baits tend to do better when those fish are really keyed in on, on bait. So that's why I call it triple shaddy, shady, shaddy, whatever. It's, um, and, and that's sort of what it is. So that's, uh, this skirt right here is one of my favorite. It just has a little bit more translucent. Um, I'll actually put the link in the bio below. Okay, so that way you guys can check it out. But definitely, I would not have thought that many. We'll sort of see if we can get a few more bites doing this. There's one. Spot. Ooh, wow. It's a nice spot for sure. Hat wow. sector smoked it. I threw a jig right there too. That's crazy. A little swim bait, yeah. Pretty nice one. Wow. Rally, back up. Eh, two and a half. Got us to a belly weighted swim bait like right there. Just these little headwaters. I'm gonna say I, I knew there'd have to be freaking some of them in some of them, you know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. like there should be big ones. It's normally a deal where I mean you can find big groups of fish doing this. There you go, Maury. Heck yeah. Large mouth. Good stuff. I mean, I'm talking way in the back of these places. So you got that one, another one on a spinner bait. I'm tying on this little swim bait. Let's see what's up. There's a few of them in there. It's crazy how shallow they are, huh? And, and the water's so clean, you'd think you'd see them. All right, so I'm gonna switch some stuff up because some of this water's too clean for a spinner bit, I feel like. So I'm gonna roll and throw a little VMC HD bladed swim bait hook. A lot of different ones out there on the market, but throwing a little flash sometimes can help. And I want a little bit heavier. Oh, 
Wait, this one I got right now is actually like a, I think it's like a three sixteenths maybe. So let's swap him out. Grab one of these Largo shads. This one's the uh, Arkansas Glow. Just putting it in there, a little screw lock. I like to screw it down uh, about maybe a little bit more if I can get it pretty tight to the head. I want, I want that hook going back as far as I can, but I want to have it to have it a little bit free. Then I'll sort of move him like that, make sure everything's looking good. The big thing with throwing this kind of stuff and throwing a swim bait, no matter what swim bait you're throwing, is you want to make sure it's running true. So you want enough weight to make sure it's running true. And then I'm also adding a blade to it. So potentially could mess up the action. So a lot of times the first thing I do after I get him tied up like that, shut the deal. I'll wind him. Ooh, that's good actually though. Yeah. Whew. 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 That looks good. Oop, there was a little spot after right there. I seen him. Got him. Oh, spotted dog. Get him out of there. Oh! He got you locked up. There you go. About a 14 inch spot, isn't it? So he switched up to throwing a little so it's a little rattling Ned rig. Now this is on this little VMC jig head. It actually got a Texas rigged. So that's uh, switching it up a little bit. Caught one on a spinner bait right, right back there. Um, caught one on a spinner bait, a swim bait maybe, and then on a rattling Ned. So switching him up a little bit can, can sometimes be the deal. I'm gonna pick up that swim bait a little bit more and see if I can't catch one doing. Just broke one off. Let's see here. Put this guy. You get him? Oh, you, I thought you broke him off. I thought I did too. Dang, Uncle Mo, I thought you broke him off. How can you even break him off? He just. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. I thought you broke one off. And I was like, what the heck? How'd you break him off? Oh, shit. Hold up. Here, I got him. Here. I was about to say, I was like, I know he's got it. I can see the sucker's lines from him. <laughs> It wasn't a big one, but. Right. Yeah, that water is dead. One thing that I'm gonna say for sure is it's definitely water's warmer in these in these little. So so far this is been this definitely we just gotta run the major creek arms in the very back so we'll catch them instead of the smaller pocket it seems like at least with this guy. I mean we had five bites in this one place you know or. More than that, six. I'm gonna slide on this side of you. I'm gonna slide and pitch this, this jig on this these trees. Cool. He came out of there. Spotted bass, little guy. Pitch it, pitch it up there. They're on the current. They're not. They're not on the trees. Cast it up there towards that that uh, that tree up there where the current's running by it. Like up straight ahead of you. Like cast into that tree. That's about. Oh, there's one. On a jig, I swim in and out. I bit it. Not a bad one. All right, y'all, so we have moved our way back up in this back end of this drain, basically. It's uh, sort of the back end of the creek, and ooh, there's one. Or he's got him one right now. There you go. Heck yeah, rattling edge fish. So, the key has been to find current. That is what is basically big rain had come in uh, last night back into the creek there's spots and largemouth mixed in these places um and really what we've been throwing today i actually just caught one on uh one of these spinner baits right here the water's a little dirtier in this place i have that three bladed spinner bait the accent spinner bait is a half i had one ounce a three quarter um caught them on a jig a little half ounce jig with a bandito bug and then morty's been throwing a little small uh jig head 
with a little VMC jig head with a rattle and net on some of that and then a spinner bait as well. So the big key is though, is current. And, and what's happening is these fish are, they were living out there, okay? And they feel that current and sometimes it's warmer water and they'll move in, the bait fish will move in and those fish will set up, what they've been doing is they've been setting up on the wood that's adjacent to the current. If it's out of the current, like over this stuff over here, there's not as many fish over there. But if it's in the current, like this log right here in the middle, it's a perfect place for those fish to set up on. So spots, large mouth, all that kind of stuff. It works in a lot of highland reservoirs. This pattern works springtime pattern, pre-spawn, fish get around, this kind of stuff. Even post-spawn, it's a really good deal. But uh, that's been the deal for us today. That's, oh, that's a bit of, oh my gosh, a bit of smoke it right there. Not a big one, man. I mean, smoked it. That's awesome. I mean, I feel that spinner bait right by that log and it was just like, poop, fish. More got him. One, Bradley. Swimming off with it. Bradley chill. Large mouth. Dang, he's got, look at all the coloring he's got. All black spots. That's pretty cool. Thanks, little buddy. That fish was just sitting out there on that outside of that. Huh. Got one. Big one? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. That's a spot. Huh. Huh. Dang, Warrior. That's a PB spot, buddy. Heck, that has to take four pounder. Gosh, Warrior. Dang. That's a million. That's awesome. Dude, that's awesome. Unreal. We got to get a picture of that fish. Look at that. Look underneath him, okay? He's got a lot. Yeah. Somebody's caught that fish before. And then probably cut his hook off or whatever and then let him swim. Let me cut that line out of him. That's a beautiful fish. We'll get a picture of that one. Let me cut, snip that line off. They knocked, he knocked slack in it. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a four, that's, that's a close to a four pound spot. Yeah, 410. Four pounds, four pounds, uh, four, basically four pounds, two ounces almost. That's crazy. That fish, I didn't know, I was like, I got one. I'm like, I didn't, I seen it swirling. Oh my gosh, that is a good one. Here you go. Yeah, nice spot. Large now. All right, let's roll. We gotta get going here in a bit. That's why I was running all them runnings. I'm like, dude, there's going to be a couple of them to have them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just going to, it, they can't not have them. Like, it's springtime, water's 58, bass ain't freaking spawning everywhere. They ain't spawning yet. They're pre spawn. They're trying to freaking eat up before they go on the bed. Where are they gonna go? Freaking run. I just had one blow it out of the water. Yep. Large now. Yeah, two, two, two and a half pounder. Yeah, put some more in there. Heck yeah. I pitched it up there and that sucker came out of that dang tree and went doosh. That one little eddy, they're just not as many of them in here, you know. Oh, there's one. Ooh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. 
Little, there's a little group of them right there, just small ones. It's a large mouth creek. You go get a picture and call it good. Man, it's like the kind of stuff that might be in my right there. All right, Ori. All right, just got back to the house. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was one I definitely wanted to, I was happy it worked out. We caught a lot of fish, had a lot of fun. And you know, that whole deal with running those run-ins is what I like to call it when the rain, you have a bunch of rain comes in, um, especially Highland Reservoirs. Remember that Highland Reservoirs, places that are higher elevation or have steeper elevation, like up there in the mountains and stuff like that and the hills and the hollers, all that good stuff. That water is not going to be trash, muddy like those flatter reservoirs are. And sometimes that's the best time to go, like your Dale Hollows, um, your Cumberlands, a lot of the places in Kentucky. That's a great time to uh, to get out there, throw a spinner bait, throw a jig, um, you know, mix it up and and catch some really big bass. I've caught some big smallmouth doing that as well on some of those places as well. So something a little bit different. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I have had a lot of com or a lot of comments talking about this particular Magellan Pro Angler uh, sweatshirt that I've been wearing a lot. This one is not available yet, will be available this fall, so make sure to look for it in stores. I'll make sure when it happens to let you guys know this fall so you can sort of stock up and all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time. We out.